Hi, my name is Esat. I just want to talk about the most important subject in the world. Purpose of life and purpose of the world. Look how we love this beautiful world. You know, we love being young. We love beauty. We love pleasure. But we see this is going to end one day. And every human being has curiosity. So this is built inside us, in our nature, to ask questions, to be hungry for knowledge, for wisdom. So that's why we need to ask this question. Is there something more than this for this life? Or is there nothing? So that's what we got to ask questions and look for answers. Now I'm going to tell you very amazing, very beautiful, convincing evidence. Just give yourself about a few minutes and you will understand how very beautiful information that I'm going to give you. That I was an atheist myself. Now I want you to please put aside all your ideas that you had before. I just want you to see it objectively today, not subjectively. Forget about all other faiths, put them on the side. And I want you to just approach the beauty of these ideas the, and the, you know, the word that I'm going to utter, please. And you got nothing to lose. I believe the world is an exhibition place. It is a beautiful art gallery of God. And he made the sun like a lamp. So we can watch this colorful show presented for us. Every spring and summer, every autumn and winter, every day and night, it's a different show. You know, that's why God created very beautiful seasons. He created beautiful sounds. He created beautiful things to taste. He made very beautiful sound of the bird. Look how beautiful, you know, when you listen to the birds, how lovely, the lovely waterfalls, beautiful sounds. So God says he was hidden treasure. He wanted to be discovered. So he created the world like an art gallery to look at it himself. And because of his wisdom and generosity, he wanted to share it with us. So he gave us all the senses and devices to judge his values, to get to know his beautiful qualities. Like, if he didn't give us eyesight, all this beauty, who's going to look at it? Who's going to judge the beauty in this world? Imagine all these colors, all these patterns, all this beauty. It's like, you know, when you go to the art gallery, you see all these beautiful arts, very co lovely colors, beautiful patterns. Now, why did the artist make all those arts? You know, he wants to express his skills. He wants to express his generosity. He wants to express his mercy. So he shares all that beauty with you. But see, when you go to the art gallery, you need certain things to be able to judge and see the arts. So you need the, first of all, light there in the art gallery. If there is no light, you can't see anything. You know, you go to the art gallery, there is no arts. So how are you gonna, you know, what are you gonna look at? Or you go to the art gallery, but you don't have eyesight. So you, know, you need the eyesight, you need the beauty, you know, all the arts, and you need the light. So God made the world like an art gallery, like a beautiful art gallery. He made the heavens a lovely ceiling. He made the sun like a lamp. He made the, you know, the moon as a, a, like a candle and the stars very beautiful lights, like a romantic light. He made this lovely world and he wanted to share it with us. So he judged us, he gave us all these senses and devices to be able to judge his values. You know, so we can get to know his good qualities, very beautiful qualities that he has. He gave us taste buds. He created so many beautiful things to eat and drink and enjoy. So we can say, mm, God, you made this mango very beautiful. You know, you drink a beautiful drink. You say, thank you, God, for this lovely water and the lovely drinks. You know, he gives you hearing. You listen to beautiful sound of the birds and the rain and the waterfalls. Say, thank you, God, you made very beautiful sounds. You know, he gave you a smelling ability and he created millions of different fragrances and scents so you can smell. So God shows his so much variety of skills and variety of generosity and wisdom so we can get to know his very beautiful qualities. So he designed the heavens a beautiful ceiling. He sends the wind and he starts moving the cloud, you know, from right to left and he's always creating new arts. It's like pictures. You know when you go to the pictures, if you see the same, same pictures all the time, it would be very boring. But, you know, when you go to the pictures, it's always moving, new pictures coming, new colors, new patterns. So that's what God did.
So look at the traces of God's mercy, how he gives life to the earth after its death. In the same way, he will give life to the dead, and he is powerful over all things. Quran chapter 30, verse 50. See, every art needs an artist. Even a small needle needs a maker. Small letter needs an author. Small village needs a headman. So this universe running in order, it has to have a ruler. Because the order does not happen by accident. You need a lot of planning. You know, imagine if the sun comes any closer, what will happen to the earth? We'll all die. Any further, you know, it will freeze us and we will all die. If the earth goes out of its orbit a little bit, what will happen? We'll all die. If it, you know, spins faster or slower, we all die. So if the moon, imagine 380,000 kilometers away, if it comes any closer, what will happen? We'll all die. If it goes any further, it will flood the world and we all die. So, but see how God, you know, made an amazing order in the universe. And he says that for those people who appreciate and who believe in him strongly by studying the books that he has sent and believing the prophets that he has sent that he, you know, as teachers. So I want to uh, share this knowledge with you for the sake of that I do not want people to be misguided and to lose their eternal life and to be responsible in eternal life. So I want you to please take it very serious because life is too short, we could die any time. So that's all I want to tell you for today, but uh, please follow my uh, other lectures that is coming up soon. Thank you for listening.